Technically, right now, I honestly think that Khabib is the champ. If I'm still the number one contender, then you got to give me the money fight versus Conor. It's either way, man. It doesn't matter. But they're both scared of me. They can't run away and they can't hide forever because I'll find you. I don't want people talk shit about like opponents, talk shit about his father, like like religion. You you cannot talk about religion. You cannot talk about nation. You know, guys, you cannot talk about this stuff. And you know, this is for me is very important. And uh, uh, <clears throat> thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for waiting for me here. I know my my father gonna smash when I go home because I know he's gonna smash me. I don't smash wanna me, talk. Mate. And. Uh, Nevada, sorry, Vegas, sorry, and Alhamdulillah, undisputed, undefeated UFC lightweight champion. Absolutely unprofessional. I think it was uncalled for. We're trying to clean the sport up, bring it towards Olympic level, and I think it was a uh, bad, bad part on Khabib. I think he should have just took his win, took the belt, walked away like a man, but instead we got to see this melee, which is embarrassing. Uh, I just talk, spoke with Kale and uh, Ariel. You see this in all, all different sports, man. You really do. You, you have heated teams that are going to go after each other. I see it, but you're supposed to squash that stuff inside this octagon. Absolutely, I'm, I'm upset, I'm appalled, but I'm ready for the next one. Once he got the submission, that should have been enough for Khabib, but as we saw, and it was reminiscent to when Conor McGregor, was it Dennis Seaver, I think he beat, and he dived yep. over the fence to and yell ran at Jose. it. Jose, 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 Jose Aldo. Yes. Kind of did the same thing to Dylan Dennis, but Dylan Dennis is loving the publicity right now, by, by the way. way. What comes next for you? What, what, what do you have on now? I mean, I think a fight with Jan would be a great matchup for myself. Um, it would be an exciting fight for the fans. We're both technical fighters. Um, I feel like he would be the next logical step in my career. Um, so yeah, I think Jan would be a great fight for me. I would never want to fight anybody who fought a bear <laughs> as a child. Yeah, he, he, may have, he may have wrestled Dagestani bears, but he has never wrestled an Irish gorilla, Conan, and that's what he's about to face. <laughs> yeah, the gorilla that ran up on King Kong. Habib and Normanga Bob the golf. Beat his motherfucking ass. Beat his ass. For all the niggas out there, cub, whoop this motherfucker. Choke the dog shit out of him. It's the dart. They call this the dart. Tap this nigga out. Tap his bitch ass out, nigga. You ain't no gorilla, nigga. You's a fucking ding dong. Me King Kong. Fuck that motherfucking punk ass McGregor, you bitch. Fuck him. Motherfucking champ, nigga. Yeah, nigga. That's what you get for coming to a motherfucking gang fight with a butter knife. You bitch ass motherfucker. Fuck you, nigga.